All right, class, settle down. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Sister C the Best class. And we are here this morning. We're going to, I know I gave y'all last night a history take home test. But when I was looking over the question, there was a few of them that was a little tricky. So before you turn your paper in, I'm going to give you the opportunity, just in case you got it wrong, I'm going to give you the opportunity to correct your answer, okay? Okay, so who can tell me how many states is it? Uh, 50. 50, yes. And who can tell me? From up here, which one of these 50 states is the largest state? Cali. Alaska. Okay, you said California. Yeah. I just know Texas. Between California and Texas? Okay, got to be one or the other. And what did you say, Chanicia? Alaska. Yes, it is Alaska. Although California and Texas look like, they look like, they're the biggest, but it's actually Alaska. It has the largest population, the largest land. So, as of right, I'm going to give you the opportunity to guess what? You have this eraser. Don't pout about it. Don't be upset. But I'm going to give you the opportunity to guess what? To correct your answer, okay? Okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. Here you go. Yes, and I just welcome you to the He Said What Show. Yes, we are in class this morning. And welcome to... Sister C, the best class. Yes, and this morning, we thank you for joining in to the He Said What? Yes, He Said What show. And the word for this morning is, He Said What? Yes, He says, as I teach you and correct you, you're moving on to perfection. Just as the teacher teaches and correct what's wrong, He said, when you apply the correct answer, you are left with a perfect score. When you erase what's wrong and do what's right, you're in a state of perfection. The more you yield yourself to me and obey my word and allow me to correct you, you are then moving into perfection. Correction is perfection. He said, what? Correction is perfection. When you make a mistake, he says, erase it and get it right. So you can make 100 so that you can have a perfect score. Your obedience depends on it. And he says, I'm depending on you. He said, what? Correction is perfection. And even though, just like even with the teacher, you make a mistake, the teacher teaches you the right answer. So you then therefore get an opportunity to guess what? Go get that mistake right. And the scripture that um, I'm going to give tonight is that St. John 14 and 26. And this is Jesus talking to the disciples. He says, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. He said, what? The Holy Spirit, y'all, is going to teach us these things. So just like he said, based on the teacher giving the correct answer, then guess what? Now we end up knowing. Just like you got, a, you got it wrong, guess what? The Holy Spirit teach you, uh-uh. This is how you do that thing. Like he told us on yesterday, do the opposite. So guess what? The Holy Spirit teaches us how to walk in perfection. And even when I woke up this morning, I heard the Holy Spirit says, in my presence, when the, when the, uh, it was something about his presence. I'm like, okay, Lord. So the scripture, it was, um, Acts 319. And it's such a familiar scripture. And it says, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Guess what? When we're in his presence, guess what? We're perfect. Guess what? Just as the, the student come to school and have perfect attendance, guess what? She, he or she is in the teacher's presence. So guess what? The teacher then have the opportunity to correct that student. Ha! Huh? Thank you, Jesus. So guess what? When we're in his presence, when we're in his word, guess what? He have the opportunity to, to guess what? Correct us. And the Bible says that we are clean through the word which he has spoken. 
So just as the students erase that wrong answer and put the right answer in the blank, then guess what? They have a perfect score. Guess what? When we apply this word to our life and do opposite and be obedient to the Holy Spirit, then guess what? We perfect. Like he said, I want you to see this thing through my eyes. See it from my point of view. So even while I'm at work today, I'm just meditating on the thing about the Holy Spirit and being perfected. So he said, what? I'm just meditating. And I heard knowledge is power. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Knowledge is power, y'all. <coughs> so he says, knowledge is power. It's all in the know. He says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. He says, what do you know? What you know makes you free and not bound. He says, you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Don't let the devil take the word out of your heart and you be without power, without the knowing. He says, let me teach you. Hold on to the know. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, y'all. We shall know the truth. And the truth going to make us free. So the truth that he was revealing to me on today, he says, knowledge is power. I shed it in. Shake. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Let me tell y'all, I've been dealing with a situation and just, like I said, dealing with offense. But even last week, the Lord was sharing with me. He says, just like you got a thousand dollars. He says, you know you got it right. So if someone come and tell you otherwise that you don't have it and you all up in your feelings getting mad, don't you know you got it? So I was in a conversation about to get in my feelings and I heard the Holy Spirit say, you got that thousand dollars. And I said, you know, with confidence, I'm boldly in my conversation, standing on my confidence, standing on the love and the joy and the peace of God and in the knowing. So even when he said today, knowledge is power. So guess what? Guess what power we got? Guess what knowledge we got? We got the knowledge of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. When he teaches us, guess what? That's the power. Hallelujah. Because guess what? We, When you know that you know that you know that you know. Hallelujah. We, we know that we can speak to that mountain and it shall be removed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When we know that we are the righteousness of Christ Jesus, guess what? We won't have to yield to sin. For the Bible says, submit yourself to God. Hallelujah. And resist the devil and he'll flee. Hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit said, you cannot obey, obey me and the devil too. So guess what? When we submit ourselves to the teaching of the Holy Spirit, because he says, guess what? Knowledge is power. So guess what? The Holy Spirit give us the knowledge of power. Give us power because of knowledge. So guess what? Now we got power because now I know when you know that you know that you know, he says, greater is he that's in you. You know that the Holy Spirit is in you than he that is in the world. But do you know that 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 he's in you? And when we realize that he's in us, guess what? We will be all up in our feelings. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We won't be yielding to temptation and to sin because guess what? He's teaching us the love and the joy and the peace of God. We will not be operating in envy and strife because guess what? He's teaching us love. So this is another thing he says. He says, when you know his story, we in history class, but he says, when you know his story, you can have victory. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it one more time. He said, what? When you know his story, you can have victory. And guess what? This is his story. The word of God. Hallelujah. Way he speak to us audibly, audibly. So when we know he's trying to get us, like I said, he's trying to get us there in a split second. He's trying to get us somewhere. Hallelujah. He don't want us to stay stagnant. Guess what's a beautiful word? He done blessed us with 50 steaks and same continent. So guess what? We can explore. He says higher heights and deeper depths. We ain't got to just sit right here and stay right here. But when we know that, we know that, we know that we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ that love us. Hallelujah. When we get in the know, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said, what you know? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm glad that I know that I know that I have confidence that he's real, that he's mine. That he said he'll never leave me nor forsake me. So even when I begin to just meditate and think on that thing today, it just bless my soul. It just blessed me all in my sanctified soul that you got power, Tasha. 
because you know you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. When we know, hallelujah, this word, when we know we got a relationship with him, when we know, even one thing, um, another scripture when I was reading, he says that um, you shall be, he told him to tear ye in Jerusalem till you be endowed for, with power from him. He said, you shall be witnesses. Come on there, Jesus. And a witness is somebody that got evidence and got proof. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Guess what? When you got evidence and proof, y'all, that we know that we know that you got that thousand dollars, that you got that million dollars, that you got the love and the joy, peace of God. Guess what? In spite of what some, what in spite of the naysayers, hallelujah, like he said, don't let the noise of this life be louder than his voice. When you know, hallelujah, you could be a witness, hallelujah, I'm a sanctified witness and I can boldly tell you, hallelujah, that my redeemer live. I can boldly tell you that I'm saved, hallelujah, sanctified and filled with the knowing of the Holy Spirit that he's teaching me whew, all things. So what I don't know, guess what? He says, you will work. I've begun a good work in you and I'm going to continue to perform it. Hallelujah. Guess what? He do all things well. So when he teaches us, guess what? We're in a state of perfection because guess what? He's the master. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He masters of them all. Hallelujah. So whatever the situation, the dilemma we in, guess what? We got the master teacher. So we all we have to do is just be teachable. What'd you say, sister? Fat, faithful, available, and teachable. And guess what? We're going to be so blessed. Hallelujah. We're going to have victory because he says, when you know his story, you can have victory. So have a wonderful, blessed day and know that the blessings of the Lord, they make us rich. And they add no sorrow. Know that you 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 know. Be blessed.